30 News, an hour's news in half the time, with Joe Nesty. Sports director Mike Crispino. And meteorologist Brad Field with his exclusive forecast. Now live, 30 News. Good evening. Fresh from a victory over pornography in one Connecticut town, members of several anti-porn groups called on shoreline towns tonight to stop the display and sale of sexually explicit materials. As Phyllis Parazic reports, the groups got together tonight in Old Saybrook to get their message across. These are just some of the magazines which were available for sale at convenience stores in Stratford before an anti-porn ordinance was passed in May of last year, the first of its kind in Connecticut. Now residents in Old Saybrook and Essex are trying to get a similar ordinance adopted in their towns. It's to make a stand for our children to protect them because without us, they are completely out in the jungle to face all of the problems by themselves and that's not the way it was intended by Tonight, members of Stratford Coalition Against Pornography told residents of the shoreline towns they too can stop the spread of pornography by speaking out against it and vowing to keep it from their children. These perverts that want only children, they leave this stuff around. Some of this stuff they, we found and people have turned it into us that is intentionally left in places where kids can get a hold of it because they want the kids to see it. Residents of Essex have already had a verbal pledge from the town to crack down on the display of pornography. Some want more, but they say it's at least a start, which they hope will spread to neighboring towns like Old Saybrook. The organizers of tonight's meeting admit it probably won't stop the sale of pornography in Old Saybrook, but they're hoping it'll get the ball rolling and possibly open some eyes. Phyllis Parasic, 30 News, Old Saybrook.